Like artichokes, this one's for you. We're going to show you how to bake some up in today's Cook's Corner. Into the News 9 kitchen for a quick and easy recipe for baked artichokes. All right, Kevin, well, in today's Cook's Corner, we're joined by Dennis Hickey from Chow Pasta, and you're going to be making one of your uh, famous appetizers. Yes. Some artichoke dip, basically, or baked artichoke. Yeah, yeah, ba yeah, it's like a dip, though, Yeah. Uh, and that's why we serve the garlic bread with it. Okay, so real quick, what we're going to do is, uh, I took a, this is half a cup of softened cream cheese. Mm -hmm. This is three ounces of chopped Kalamata olives. I like the contrast. Yeah, the, it gives it yeah. a lot of flavor. Oh, definitely, yeah. definitely. And they go well. It's kind of like an antipasto, but made into a baked dish. Okay, mm -hmm. and I have some roasted red peppers. Give it a little sweetness. Okay, and a little bit of lemon juice. Lemon goes very well with, uh, so we're going to do a teaspoon of lemon juice. Alrighty. Okay, and of course, a little, just a dash of salt and pepper. And then you mix that all up, and this is what you have here, right? Yep, yeah, because that'll take a few minutes. So you yeah. want to have it soft and maybe put it in a uh, mixer or just, it's going to take a while. So and this is what you get. This is the mix. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take about three ounces of this mix, and I'm going to put it right into an oven-safe dish. Okay. And I like to use a metal dish. Uh, at home, you can use a casserole dish, which might take a little bit longer to cook. This Alrighty. makes it cook fast at the restaurant. I see, I see. Okay, so you just want to spread that in there. You would want to get it all, but for mm -hmm. time's sake, we're going to do it. Okay, and we're going to put in six artichoke halves real quick oops i'm waiting oh those go right in there and yep. then you add some cheese is that right mm -hmm. yeah and we're going to do some fresh grated parmesan cheese okay okay and you're going to want about an ounce of that and then i like to use cracker crumbs i'm using a ritz cracker crumb of course at home you can use bread crumbs mm -hmm. okay and this is a great app because you what you can do is is you can make this ahead of time for your guests Okay, and then just pop it in the oven when they show up because yeah. it takes about 15 minutes to cook. And then I'm going to top it with just a little bit of cayenne pepper. Spice it up just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Give it a little color. You can use paprika in this step at home if you would like, but I like it a little spicy. Okay, and then what we do is just put that in a 350-degree oven Alrighty. for about 15 minutes. And I have one ready. And that's, that's all there is to it. And Alrighty. we serve it with garlic bread and some fresh parm. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, and some... Parsley, and we're done. And tell people again where Chow Pasta is located. Okay, Chow Pasta is at 196 Central Street in Franklin, New Hampshire. Uh, the phone number is 934-2429. And I know that you can order any kind of pasta and any kind of sauce you want, so you kind of make up your own yep, meal. Yeah, pick it perfect. Okay, okay. <laughs> great. Thank you so much, Dennis. We appreciate it. That looks yummy. Thank you. And we'll be right back.